What's going on, my precious gems? Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. I'm your host, Frosty Cones, and welcome to another Pokemon Duel video. My screen just locked, and we are still here for the Fire Gym Cup, you guys. Um, I know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know in my last video, I said that Typhlosion gets up to four move points, and I completely slipped my mind when I said it, but slowly realized it after using him in, not necessarily that video, but in more Fire Gym Cup duels, that it does increase his his like his flame acceleration does increase his move points up to three but only fire type mons with up to two move points get an extra move point bonus in the fire gym cup and i i, I realized that so trust me i got it i got it and um we it's actually this deck has actually been doing quite the, the good amount of justice in the fire gym cup um i think we're at about eight wins and we're getting closer and closer to that Groudon figure that we so desperately want to have. So we're gonna go ahead and find ourselves a new duel. If you guys are enjoying the Pokemon Duel content, then definitely be sure to leave a like on the video as well as comment. If you are new to the crew, then definitely be sure to keep up with me on the socials to the left and subscribe to me to add yourself to the Sash of Gems because Channel 4 is brought to you in part by the love and support of the precious gems that you guys are all of that good stuff we did get a duel let's see what this person's got i feel like i'm gonna fuck, get fucked i also like just woke up i was like sleeping in my chair just like this um this is like my second favorite theme in the entire game so ooh, he's got a cube level on that that latios there if i'm right our opponent does go first no it's our turn so that's good for us let's go ahead and lead off put our Vibrava there and then we'll put him in the middle right here see what he wants to go for um, I can actually see him going for Latios or just going with the Charmeleon that's fine that's all fine and well let's see his things again all right so he's got the gold block hurdle cha uh, double chance and hurdle jump let's go ahead I want to place I'm gonna place Gabi right there. Um, that way I don't go in front of him. He hurdle jumps over me onto my entry point. Um, that's a pretty obvious play right there as he does move his his uh his dang old dang old uh dang old what a uh, what what is what is what, what dang old hello. Oh wait. Oh I don't I can't really do much against the the Latios because I don't have the Oxus. I. Like, I'm obviously just now waking up because I thought I was like, okay, well, Latios isn't going to be a problem. I have the Oxus attack that can take him out, but we don't really have much I can answer to him with that giant 121 Luster Purge. Um, we do have some freedom to go ahead and get another mod out, so I guess... Let's go ahead and proceed with Moltres, just because we do have Soar. And that'll put us in another good position to be able to try and get Reshiram out on the field. Um, I definitely want to try and prioritize getting Reshiram out as quickly as possible, because it looks like he's going to try and cover up our entry points and take away our options. And we don't like our options being taken away here. Yep. So, if he does, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring out my Typhlosion. He'll probably cover the entry point if he's dumb enough, or he may just go ahead and hurdle jump and try to take that, take that, uh, what's it called? And take the, what's I'm gonna do, Hickey? I can't, I can't think of it. The goal point. Uh, I'm sorry, the commentary for today's video is gonna be a little weird. I'm like, uh, it's like nine o'clock at night and I just like, I passed out after coming home from work. Okay, so he does place his right on down. That does give us the opportunity to go ahead and get our Reshiram out there on the field. Now, this does give us the opportunity to knock out. I'm hoping that he tries to get out his Reshiram because if he does, then he will completely miss the fact that I could take out his Latios with Moltres, uh, given the fact that we have the flare, or the Fire Gem move point boost and the sword ability behind us. As he does get ready to pop off a Hurdle Jump, see where he goes, sweet. 
and we'll just go ahead and make that defensive placement. Now he has to take out Moltres if he doesn't want to lose his Latios for the remainder of the game. Worst case scenario, I... Ooh, okay. Hit it with a purple. Or... Yes! Okay, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Good job by Brava. So... Right off the bat. Right off the bat. Goodbye. So long. He was like sliding out of the DMs. Goodbye. Bye-bye, bitch. So... It's really awesome for us. He sends out his restaurant. Let's go ahead and push ours forward. And we'll be able to throw down the Zygarde figure as well. Hmm. As he does move his Rhyhorn towards Typhlosion. Okay, sweet. So let's go ahead, cover up this entry point. He has to make a defensive play, either using that goal block or the... Why does he have a Geo, dude? It evolves two stages, that's why. Which actually does make that thing a pretty huge threat. So let's go ahead and move Typhlosion out here. Um, I did play a duel where I got to have Gabite evolve in Garchomp. I can't remember if I was able to pull it off in one of, you know, yesterday's or... Um, the day before his video, but, um, but yeah, it was able, it was cool being able to see, like, the 120 Dragon Rush, the, uh, base 90, uh, I say base 90 as if it's the actual Pokemon game, um, actually, why don't we go for Charmeleon here, here's to hoping that we can, oh, get the knockout, which we do, Transcendent Evolve. Oh, I'm sorry, not 120. What am I thinking of? Oh, I'm thinking of um, Zygarde with the 120, uh, yeah, Dragon Breath. Oh, no, he does get a 120. Okay. Duh. Okay. So, I want to I want to make use of Double Flight. That's what I, that's what I really want to see happen, because I want to see how that plays out. That basically allows us to hop over an enemy figure and, uh, and, and still have the chance to battle it. Now, I don't know if that'll make us, like, if we absolutely, like, 100% have to. Oh, I think I see a skillful tech, you guys. So what I can do is Hurdle Jump, Typhlosion, over Geodude, kind of set myself up for a surround kill. As he he moves his Madu Jigger. Let's, uh, I'm not too sure if I want to do that. Let's go ahead and move our Garchomp forward. That Geodude is kind of a, kind of a serious problem with that self-destruct out there. As he does pop off an X-Attack, moves towards the Moltres. Can we land on a Roost or a Flame Charge, please? Thank you. As he lands on Rainbow Wing, that's good for us. He's just going to hop over us. That's fine. Um, let's go ahead and hurdle jump. I feel like there's no better time than now to go ahead and use it. Because it's kind of getting down to the wire. And it's like at this point, he he's kind of limited to having to attack Moltres and chance not getting the knockout, or... Okay, so he's going for... Fuck. It's okay. Oh, fuck, he actually evolves. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna do this. And hopefully we'll have the, the turns uh, available. We just need two turns to be able to knock out ho -Oh. Sweet. So, let's put down Zygarde. We'll inch towards Ho on the next turn. Hopefully he doesn't knock out by Brava. I feel like that's his best choice to attack. Um, he could go for Moltres, but there's a very slim chance to knock him out. Nah, not happening, son. The land on Rainbow Wing. Sweet. Okay, so we get the knockout on Ho. -Oh. It is gonna uh, Serene Light, I believe, is the name of his ability. Is gonna trigger. 
So he is going to get both his Charmeleon and his right on back. But that is fine, all fine and well. Because now we can put on some serious pressure. Um, I don't know how we're going to exactly take out the Graveler or get the Graveler to even move. Oh. As he does go for Garchomp. Landslide. What does that do? What does that do? What does it do? That gives me weight of some sort. Yeah. Well, that's kind of stupid that that happened. But, it's alright. It's okay. Wait, that counts? Oh, no. So, he's gonna have, like, a base 100 walk, rock blast. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a serious fucking problem. Wow, I'm about to get crushed. All rock puns intended by this a uh, golem. Ugh. That's really concerning. So I'm pretty sure he puts down his right on. Maybe his Charmeleon, but I really see the... Uh, not right on, right horn. Oh, and look at the timer. We do have the advantage in terms of the timer, so we will be doing fine. Oh my god, I, I'm just now realizing that my mic is super quiet, so hopefully through the power of editing, I will be able to make it sound a little bit more crisp and louder for you guys. So let's go ahead and move Vibrava. Um, I don't really, there's no, no point in really moving um, Zygarde too slow too you're too slow whoa sonic i gotta stop i gotta fucking stop memes memes as i got a shadow of the hedgehog poster like right here so yeah we should be able to pick up the w with just the timer alone so long as we play all right sweet you get the dragon claw off on the right horns miss and question is now, what do we do? He has to move something, he has to attack something. So he's gonna attack Moltres, Flame Charge. Oh, that's even better. So this is what we're gonna do. This is exactly what we're doing. We're gonna remove our marker. We're gonna move Moltres right here and attack it. That does mean that our, uh, the, uh, not Zekrom, what are you, Reshiram, does get burned, but, uh, that's fine because, like, he can't do anything. His only option is to attack my Moltres. Two of, no, one of his attacks becomes a miss, which is a huge chance to miss. As we get the Roost. And we'll go ahead, get the Surround Kill and the Victory with that, which is awesome. Very well played, my good friend. If you want to surrender, that's fine, but I would like to win with one of my Pokemon. Yep. Ah. Ah, feels good to be a gangster. Okay, so we are at our ninth win. That's pretty awesome. And what we're basically going to be doing is using up all the energy for the one video. So I believe that's what three duels. Yeah, we got two more duels left in us. Depending on how things play out, we may be able to get a fourth duel. Um, but we shall whoop, see. Oh god, he's got a Deoxys attack. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness great. And I need to take another look at his uh, plates. Oh god, he has a dough box? Ugh. Okay. So... Move Moltres out. Nothing per, per difference. Okay, wow. Two double chances, two X attacks on Hurdle Jump. It's not bad. So, um, I can see him leading out with Delphox or even that Pupitar. Pupitar is pretty common. Oh, he does go for the Deoxys attack. Pretty interesting move there. Um, yeah, it, it does make sense to get the hardest hitter out there. Um, Steelix is a pretty hard hitter. It is kind of annoying. Um, let's go ahead and move. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I can see him going for a hurdle jump, although it'd be pretty stupid for him to do so. Okay. As he does bring out that heat train against Moltres. That is kind of scary. But let's go ahead and push Typhlosion outward a little bit. 
I'm pretty like I'm seeing a uh, uh, hurdle jump in the near future, in the very very near future. Let's go ahead and place Zygarde down here, and then we'll put Reshiram on the other side. As he does put his Delphox down there, and we can answer that with Rush, uh, Rushram, yeah. Rushram is such a cool Pokemon. I, I played Pokemon White and Pokemon White 2, um, just because Rushram was so dope. I do like Zekrom. Electric typing is super awesome. I feel like uh, Dragon Electric is just a dope typing, just in general. Um, I think, but at the time, Fire typing was my favorite type. And now, my favorite type is... Ghost and Dark and Poison and Electric and Fire. That's my top five. I have no need to make a fucking 10 minute top five video with, ah oh shit, he's gonna hurdle jump and kill Reshiram. He's gonna hurdle jump and kill Reshiram. He's gonna hurdle jump and kill Reshiram. Oh god damn it. This is what happens when I just like get distracted. Yup. Fuck me. <sighs> fucking Christ. Okay, that was stupid. That was just stupid of me to do. Um. Well, eye for an eye. Does in fact make the world blind, but at least we can see a little bit better with the goal point in sight. As he does move back like a little biggity bitch. He is, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, no need to be all, all mean like that. So, let's go ahead and move this way. I'm not entirely sure what our best play is just yet. But we do have three move points with Typhlosion's Flame Acceleration, which is dope. Um, I can see him. Okay. The so Steelix goes off. Oh. Oh, young boy. Young boy. Let's go ahead and set this Heat Drain up for a surround kill. And we can either surround with the Zygarde or we can surround with Flygon. Either way, uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Let's just put on some more of that pressure. Uh, what we can do is, ooh. 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 Wait, I'm trying to see. And we can just put because I didn't, I didn't want to lose Gabite, that's why I did that. I let uh, Gabite's, what is it, Sand Veil kick in and basically just let me um, preserve it. And again, I don't exactly want to use my, my goal block just yet, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just start moving as much as possible. I, I'm probably gonna have to use it after this. Psych! Or not. So go ahead and place Typhlosion on the entry point. Um, I can see the Deoxys attack going for it at this point, but why don't we, hold up, let me take a look at Pupitar, take a look at Gabite. I think I just pop an X attack here. Mm, yes. And then go for Pupitar. This way it guarantees me a kill. Or not because I land on fucking sand attack and of course, anytime I use an X attack, I just have to, like, I absolutely have to land on a purple or, like, a blue attack, or I just miss. Like, that's what happens. That's my history with, with, with X attacks. So, let's go ahead, push our Moltres forward. This sets us up for a nice, clean, ooh-ooh. Ooh, the supersonic on the hyperspace hole kicks in. And we're gonna go ahead and surround Pupitar. You could go for a kill here. He is able to almost send out his Gabite again. But I kinda wanna deprive him of that if possible. So, go ahead, move you here. Awesome, things are going according to plan. Ooh, and we can set Delphox up for a holy shit. He pops off a double chance, goes for Moltres. We're gonna go boom. Please land on the miss. Or Screech. Ah. 
That's lame sauce. That is complete lame sauce. Oh, uh, God. Okay, let's move Zygarde towards our, our goal point, because... We've kind of left it open for a little... I feel naked. I just feel... I feel naked. But thing is, we are definitely going to have to get Moltres back out here. Moltres is a huge asset to our team. And uh, it's just a huge same. Our Gavite is a higher level than theirs. Does Gavite evolve? No. So... Onward, we press. With our own Gavite. Um, I'm not too sure what our best play is right now. <laughs> um. Oh, this. Goodbye. Oh, but he does get the heat train back. Fuck. Okay. And then here, I'm gonna. Place Typhlosion here, and then I can put Vibrava. I want, I want to get Vibrava onto this middle spot right here. As he goes for Zygarde with Gabite, we land the Dragon Breath barely, which is dope. Good job, Zygarde. You scare me sometimes with your missed chances, but you know what? You actually pull through a lot more than a certain fucking Deoxys attack that I have. Oof! Triggered. Oh. Where's Zapdos? You hit a lot. Less misses than Zapdos. That's for damn sure. So let's go ahead. Move by Brava here. I almost do want to evolve by Brava into Flygon just because um, it would prove to be very useful in in this duel. I don't know exactly if I want to do this, but I feel like it's a good way to put on pressure. Um, kind of force him to attack us. And we just kind of sandwich him in here. Now, I want him to move his Pupitar forward. I forgot he had two X attacks. Well, ooh, goodbye. Let's go ahead and put fly, uh, not fly on. Oh, no, 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 no. This doesn't mean we get our, okay. Okay. Hmm. My my best play, like what I really want to happen, is to be able to land on on hot air. As he pops the X attack off on, I feel like it's just so weird seeing people. And he goes, he lands on lands wrath. Okay, so we just need Deoxys attack to land on dimensional slip. Boy, it's over. It is over. It is over. Zygarde came in clutch. That is Deoxys out. That is Delphox out. That is Steelix out. That is also our own Gabite out. But you know what? Boom. Typhlosion. Typhlosion's W right there. That was... Whew. I gotta give Zygarde some real props for that. Hey, we got Dims. Tight. All right, so it looks like we'll be able to do one more duel before we get another 30 back, but it has been quite some time into this video. So I might just go ahead and do that last one on my own time, um, just cause I just need to be able to like veg out a little bit, even though I did just wake up, but I still gotta edit this video and it's kind of late. It's normally around the time I'm gonna get ready to go to sleep here, so. Uh, we do see two, we see a uh, restaurant in a Zekrom, that's a huge problem. No overdrives though. But uh, we also see the Zapdos and the Moltres. Um, he's got, this is actually a pretty decent deck. He's got some really good uh, movement and utility with the Deoxys Speed and Whimsicott. Whimsicott basically just stays on the field and doesn't die. 
So let's go ahead and place the flag on here, kind of uh, counteract that, that one's a cot. It'd be... Oh shit, um... Actually, you know what, I, I, sh I don't have anything to worry about. I don't have anything to worry about. I didn't have anything to worry about. Honestly, this guy by time to shine. Goodbye. Adios. Sayonara. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Transcend and evolve into power. Become power. And if Gibble wasn't so bad, I would definitely love to do the, the full three stage or two stage evolution. Make that a uh, Dragon Claw 100. Make the Dragon Dan or Dragon Rush. Excuse you, kind sir, but who dost thou think you are? Please riddle me that. All right, so let's go ahead and move. Garchomp that way, uh, yeah, that way. We are able to get Reshiram out, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm sure he's gonna cover up our entry point. So obvious. Can read you like a book, my friend. Um, best case scenario is that we would, oh, he sends his own Reshiram outward. Um, let's go ahead and place Zygarde down. Zygarde's kind of the best answer to Reshiram because we got the 90 Lands Wrath and the 120 Dragon Breath. Um, we also have some good priority with extreme speed against the fly and miss slots. So, <sighs> I, my dumbass, I was going to move. Oh, as he goes for our Zygarde. And we land the Land's Wrath. I'm praying that we can get something out that's not ours. As we lose, like, arguably one of the best figures that we have. So, um, that's great, because he's gonna cover up our entry point. I should have gone to this spot with Zygarde and set him up for a surround kill with Garchomp, but that's fine, because he's just gonna go straight for Garchomp with his Zapdos. And get the Thunder Charge off, which is a huge problem. That's a huge problem. That is no good. That is that. That is the, the no bueno. No bueno, senor. So. I'm assuming here he. Okay. Alright. Um. I feel like I should have maybe gone for Zapdos with Garchomp. I definitely should have. Uh, probably use my, my X attack real early. Um. It's alright. Oh. As he pops off the double chance. Goes for guard chomp. Let's see what, what happens. Oh, please land on rooster thunder charge. Oh, sweet, another miss. So, just go ahead and hit that swap spot, swap Moltres with Zygarde, so we can make use out of Moltres and start zipping all over the place. Now, where's the pla best place to zip to? I think Me Tinks. We should go this way. Because we can soar over Typhlosion, soar over Zekrom, take out the Moltres, and then... Are you fucking kidding me, Garchomp? Come on. Garchomp. Boy. Brah. Fuck. Okay, maybe, maybe this was all a bad idea. This was all a really bad idea. As he goes for our Moltres with his. Are you fucking... Oh. Like, this is what it's coming to. This is exactly what it's fucking coming to. So, watch. I'm gonna pop the sex attack. Go for Zapdos. I'm gonna land on the 70 while he lands on Thunder Charge. And he's gonna paralyze me. Or he's just gonna fly over me. And get ready to cuck the Zygarde out. Yep. So I have to land on Dragon Breath. Or he lands on Extreme Speed, best case scenario, right there. He should have used his Thunder Charge, honestly. Um, I feel like that would have been a, a lot better. But please just move your, your Moltres. 
or I will go for... I'll go for Zekrom. I'll go for your Zekrom with... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we have a good matchup against that thing. Ooh. Hot air. Alright, so watch this tech, guys. Watch this tech. The skillful tech. So, we are about to win if he... He, ha he does have gold block, so... That's alright. Um, I'm feeling a little daring. And just want to go here. Fuck me. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We're fine, we're fine, we're safe. He better do something to save Deoxys, otherwise he's screwed. Yeah, he's definitely screwed. Because it's gonna take him three turns to knock me out. It's gonna take only two turns if I if I land on the right rolls to knock out his Deoxys and get the win. So if if Typhlosion can get us a second W, I would be actually really happy with that. Um, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what our opponent decides to do. He's taking a little bit of time. I'm sure he's feeling the pressure, the stress. As he does go for the Pokemon Switch, I feel like that was a wasted turn. It's all right, you know, to each their own. Let's go ahead and knock this thing out, Typhlosion. There we go. We win. That's the bond of Pokemon right there. That is the bond of Pokemon. Oh. Yeah, I was a little scary there losing Flygon so early. He had a gold block. I'm so stupid. Okay, let's get Typhlosion out of here. Let's get Typhlosion out of there. Like, I... I should have noticed that. <laughs> Oh god, he's gonna land on Fusion Flare. Oh, but we do land on Hot Air. That's dope. That is dope. That is hella dope. Okay, so... Um... I feel like we should draw back a little bit. Draw back and go for this annoying-ass Whimsicott. Now, I'm kind of hoping that we can... Wait, whoa, you are thirsting hard, my friend. My homie. Wait, I want to look. I want to look at. I want to look at Fusion Flare really quick. If you have Zekrom on the field, okay. So it doesn't like. I have to have a Zekrom myself, so I won't be able to get like a free remove from play. And at this point, I don't really have any qualms about burning my own Rush Ram. I should probably. Yo, you're Thurston. Thurston, calm down. Calm down, good sir. So great. Everything everything around me gets burned. I actually didn't want to get Restrain burned after realizing that I had the option to not let it get burned. So, ooh, and it gets two huge missed chances. Are you... I have a burned Restrain. <sighs> Attack me. Attack me. Because there's nothing I can do. There's literally nothing I can do. I can try to go for Whimsicott with my burned ass Restoram. Which I guess I have no choice but to do. But that only means that he gets to block my entry point with his own Restoram. And then things get stupid from there. I feel like this is my best play. I was going to go for Whimsicott, but I feel like I would not be able to, like, despite any kind of favorable matchup that we have, even against a burn Whimsicott against our own burn Reshiram, we definitely do not have the odds in our favor. Nope. <sighs> I thought I felt something on my arm for a second. Um, let's go ahead and move Restoram back. And I'm pretty positive you just... Yep. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Like, I have to kill his Zapdos. Oh, 
fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? All right, Zygarde, I need you to come through one more time. Come through one more time. Wow, wow, we had that in the bag. We had that. <sighs> but maybe we really didn't because I thought that he had already... Are you fucking kidding me? Go fuck yourself. Fucking go fuck yourself, dude. You could have just gone for the win. You could have gone for the win, but instead you want to be a dick and get me get a weight loss. It's alright. It's alright. I've done it before, but that was when I was an immature Pokemon duelist. Bitch. So, let's go ahead and open up these figure boxes. Let's accept our rewards. We're probably not going to get anything nice. We did get an uncommon. Diglett. Got the Rita. I already have those. And I always get... I've been getting a lot of Diglets now. I think it's because ground types get a buff. So, it's like, it's just like my current Rattata right now. But that is going to end off today's Pokemon Duel video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, definitely be sure to leave a like on the video as well as comment what you thought about it or any other kinds of good stuff you can offer down there in the comment section. Um, if you are new to the crew, then definitely be sure to keep up with me on the socials to the left as well as subscribing to me here above me and checking out yesterday's video right here. I'm going to be start using the end screen annotations. So if you guys ever did miss out on, you know, a previous video, then um, I'm going to be leaving it right here. It's right here. So with all that being said, I'm going to get up out of, out of here and pounds. I can't talk. I'm your host, Frosty Cones. Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4 and I am signing off. Peace, y'all.